So dear ones, it is so great to be back. For those of you who I have not met yet, um, I am not Rick Hansen, <laughs> but I'm his, his trusty sidekick booker. Um, Rick is a dear friend. And as he's spending time with family over these holidays, he's asked me to come in and offer some teachings. So I was here a few weeks ago with you all and back again tonight. So really wonderful to see you. And I thought that we would um, start with a simple meditation tonight. I've had a, a long day with a lot of words. So I thought it'd be kind of nice to have a, a little bit of a quieter meditation this evening. And then we'll move into our evening talk, which, spoiler alert, we'll be talking about the precepts tonight, um, specifically talk, talking about the precept of intoxication. And so, dear ones, I invite you to take a posture that works for your body. And the beautiful thing about being in our homes, uh, practicing from our homes, is that we can take um, any posture that allows us to feel the most ease. So the classic teachings were to uh, take the posture of standing, sitting, walking, or lying down. And we'll have a short break in which you can do some walking practice. But I invite you to rest if it's late at night for you and the body is needing to be held by the earth. I invite you to take a standing posture if there's some energy that needs to move through the body. And making sure that the if you're sitting on a seat that the Hips are a little bit higher so the knees can fall forward. And if you're in a chair to have your, your hips, your knees and your ankles at this 90 degree angle so that you have a, a lot of support and in your uh, structure there. And I like to begin my practice by orienting to the space that I'm in. This is something that I borrowed from the somatic experiencing world. So I know I'm in a room that I'm in many hours during the day, but it's nice to take a moment to look around, to orient myself to this room and hold it in a new way. And so we'll do this by turning our heads to the right. And as we keep our, wide, our eyes wide open, we'll continue to turn our heads, keeping our eyes at the horizon. as we begin to take in the different colors that are in our space. So the things that are orange or brown, gold or purple. Noticing the different shapes that are in our environment. Things that are rectangle and round square and triangle. Noticing elements of nature. And you know, we have people calling in from all over the world. So it might be noticing the sun shining or the trees blowing through the wind. For me, I'm noticing the stars outside on this beautiful first snowy day in Pennsylvania. Noticing the trees or the plants that are inside your home. And then taking a moment to look up, noticing the space above you. Noticing the width, so how much space is to the left of you and to the right of you. And then noticing the depth of your environment. So the space that is in front of you, perhaps in front of your camera. And then the space that is behind you. So looking over perhaps the left shoulder, looking over the right shoulder and noticing the depth of the space that is behind you.
And then begin to rest the eyes as you bring your gaze forward. And for many people, you like to practice with the eyes open so you can have a, a soft gaze. So keeping the eyes wide open. So allowing light or shape to come in without really noticing the details. You can rest the eyes by looking down to a spot on the earth or allowing the eyes to close together and allowing the top lid to just gently rest on top of the bottom lid. And just taking a moment to drop into the felt sense of the body and feeling into what is alive right now. Noticing where there are points of contact between the body and the earth. Noticing the quality of the heart the quality of the breath and how is the mind tonight? Is it active and running around or is it at a sense of stillness? And so we'll do a little body scan as we start at the foundation of our body. So again, feeling into where there are points of contact with the feet or the legs. Feeling that pressure, gravity holding this body down. If the feet are planted onto the earth, perhaps we can lift the toes and spread them wide and feel them really reconnecting to the earth, rooting themselves down. Bringing our awareness to our calf muscles, perhaps giving a little flex to our calf muscles or bringing awareness to our lower legs. Noting the space between the kneecaps and the hip joints. And depending on how the body is sitting or standing or lying down, Parts of the upper leg might be floating while the other might be making contact with the earth. And taking a moment to really feel your sits bones. So these bones in your bottom that really you can feel when you're sitting on your seat. Noticing if the body is leaning forward or kind of tilting back. If the body is leaning to the right or to the left. And seeing if you can find that, that middle way. That sense of balance in the body. And so feeling the length of the spine, lifting up through the body, up through the crown of the head. Feeling this expansion across the heart, across the lungs, through the tips of the shoulders. And then seeing if you can bring some weight to the tips of your elbows so that the shoulders can slide away from the ears.
And as we bring our awareness to our face, perhaps we can rest the tongue on the bottom of the mouth, allowing the jaw to unhinge, the teeth to unclench. Perhaps the lips part just a little bit as we bring some ease and softness to the bottoms of our faces. And feeling the softness through the cheeks, the tips of our earlobes. Noticing the coolness of the beginning, middle, and top of this end breath. How the breath pauses, swirls, and then that same cool end breath turns into a warm exhalation. And so we play around, we dance with this breath as it moves in and out through the nostrils. We feel a softening through the eyes. And if there's worry, thinking, planning in the mind, perhaps the eyebrows are furrowed and the might be some crevices in the forehead. So we can take our fingers and just gently soften the brow, soften the forehead. And then again, lifting up through the crown of the head. Perhaps the chin tucks in just a little bit towards the neck. And I like to imagine there's this trap door at the crown of my head. And I can open up this door and allow the mind that worries, that thinks, that plans, that makes list. Just giving that mind a break for a little bit. As we drop back to knowing this body resting on the earth. Knowing this rhythm of the breath as it breathes itself in and as it breathes itself out.
Thank you so much for your practice.